Hello everyone and welcome to a new tutorial. In this short video I will share with you how to extract certain parts from a complete model. For example, I have this car and I want to analyze certain part of it. So how can I take the part that I am interested in only? So first I click on F2 and I hide a I hide everything except the solids and what I want to analyze actually is the seat, the front seat. So I click on identify, click on part, then one, two, three here. So this part ID that I need to remember, it's better that you write it down somewhere. So I click on F2, then go to assembly. Then I highlight from the first one until I reach here, right before 2919, because that's one of the three parts that I'm interested in. Right click and delete. Okay, F2 again, then, re uh, then repeat the same process. Now I start from the, I start from here until I reach 200, 1, 200, 10, 5, 2. If you're not sure, you can check from, from the color at the side. So right click and then delete. Okay, repeat for the last time. Okay, highlight all there, then right click and delete. So now I close this and go to the keyword manager. Now I delete all the keywords. Airbag for the tires, you don't need. Constraint for the rigid body, we don't need. Contact, delete also. Control, also delete. Database, delete. Define, I have defined curve. I need one of them, but I delete because I will modify that later. Mass element, delete. Mass parts, delete. And except the solid element, I don't delete. Then delete all this one, the initial the load. The gravity load delete material also I delete everything then I de continue deleting section also I delete because I have many of them I just only want three so instead of deleting one by one I delete all of them then I define uh, only three the one I need then I de continue deleting so go to node editing and then delete, delete all the unreferenced node. Go here and save as. Unclick on this one, then put a new name. And this one will be Camry Seat. Then save. Okay, done save. Minimize this one. Then I open this one in the text editor. With the prepost you can do also, but it's easier with the with any text editor. And also I open the original file. So in the seed file I have the elements and I have the part definition. So I copy this part ID, I go to the original file, I paste and search. Okay, so I have the part definition here, I have the section in the material definition. So I copy from there and I paste here. You see, I don't have any equation of state or any hourglass. But in the material definition, I have a curve ID. So I need to search for that curve. That's the idea of the curve. But first I type define and I jump to the define curve section. And I put the curve ID and here is the curve. So I copy that. And I go to my seed file. I paste it here. I can paste anywhere actually, but I like to paste it after the first time it's mentioned. Okay, then that's done for the first part. Uh, make this one a bit bigger. Now I go to the seed file, I save. I'm done with the first part. Now the second part, 2009-20. So I go to the original file, I, I search for that ID. So I have the material ID here and the section ID right right here is right below here. So I copy that 
then I paste in my seed file enter and then paste okay everything is everything is aligned okay good I have the section I have the material okay then the curve is the same curve used in the previous material so I don't need to search for another curve okay now the last part I copy the part ID from there I paste in the original file so I have the material and the section here I copy and then I enter and I paste here in the C file so I save this one and then I go to the pre-post I close this and I open again with the pre-post so everything is fine you see you don't have any warnings anything and you only have the three parts and the three materials in the three section so you don't have all the unnecessary things that belongs to the original file so that's all for this tutorial thank you very much and see you next time bye bye